Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. Alright, the last episode we took on the Celadon City Gym. In this episode, we are going to take on the Gym Leader of Celadon City. So make sure that your Pokemon set, you all set up, and then you can take her on. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, you're from Yota, you say? How nice! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize, I realized that you wish to shout me. I know, I've been training myself on not only Flower Ancient, but also Pokemon Battle. I shall not lose. You shall not lose, I see. Oh, yeah. She must be one of those low kimono girls. Anyway, she's going to be off with a jump on love, level 51. Grass Flying type with ability Chlorophyll, with the most Leech Seed, U Turn, Giga Drain, and Sunny Day. Jump Bluff is mainly just a fast Pokemon, it doesn't really have too much to hit you with. And she's actually going to go for the U-Turn, which uh, makes her switch out and deal damage to me. And she's going to send out her Victory Bell, level 56. Grass Poison type with the ability Chlorophyll, with the most Sunny Day, Grass Knot, Leaf Storm, and Razor Leaf. You know what Vic Victory Bell is, you mean... I mean, I've used so... I've used a rip Victor Bell throughout this entire playthrough, so you know what kind of power Victor Bell is. And if he gets up a sunny day, its speed would be doubled thanks to Chlorophyll. But uh, thanks to me paralyzing that thing, it's not going to be a big deal for me because I just took it out with a body slam. And Bess is trying to learn heal, but it's an interesting move. It's actually much better in a competitive play. Basically, what it does, it gets rid of uh, your entire team's uh, status uh, problem. So it's much better in competitive play than in uh, in game, I think. And let's see, her next Pokemon is going to be her Bellossom, her, which is her main Pokemon. And uh, Bellossom is going to be level 56, Grass type with ability Chlorophyll, holding a Citrus Berry with the most Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Giga Drain, and Synthesis. Now this Bellossom can be a little bit annoying. I mean, it can drain your health with Giga Drain, can set up the Sunny Day, and it can live with like one HP too. And the uh, synthesis, if the sun is up and it's a synthesis, I think it will heal like three fourths of his HP. So it, it it can be quite annoying, especially when it's going to be faster than you. But if it's a sunny day, your fire move is going to be power up at 1.5 times. So you can just destroy her entire team. And don't uh, underestimate this, but awesome. You can see how much uh, her solar beam did to my Hi Hibashi. And I just decided to. Go for the safe flamethrower, take it out, not too much of a problem, really. And uh, Hibachi grew to level 48, pretty nice, I must say. Let's see. A sunny strong. Sunny strike, strong inside you. Anyways, her next Pokemon is going to be her Tendula, level 52. Grass type with WD Chlorophyll, with the most ancient power, Ring Out, Giga Drain, and Sleep Powder. Now again, this Pokemon has the ability Chlorophyll, every Pokemon on her team has the ability Chlorophyll, so it's pretty much, if he sets up a sunny day, it's probably going to be faster than you, but if you have a Victory Bell of some sort, it's probably going to outspeed almost her entire team, and I just go for the Slot Bomb, it's super effective, and it's going to take out the Tendula, remember, it has Ancient Power, so, it has a, if it uses it, it has a 10% chance of raising every staff, so, just, just keep that in mind. Now she's going to send out uh, her jump bluff again, and as I said, jump bluff it's not going to hit you hard at all. It has crappy stats overall, except for its speed. It's mainly just an annoying Pokemon, so it's going to try and U-turn me. But because she doesn't have any more Pokemon on her team, she's not going to be able to switch out. And I'm going to hit her with a sludge bomb, and that is probably going to take down that jump bluff, or maybe not, because it's four levels higher than me. And the strong is still strong inside me. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Don't you say so? Wouldn't you? I don't know what to say here. But anyway, she's going to go for the U-turn. Not too much damage at all. I'm just going to go for a slot bomb. Take out that jump bluff. And that is going to be it for Erika. Really, she isn't really that hard at all. I mean, we're only five minutes in. It only took barely five minutes. Looks like I underestimated you. Indeed you did, the lost kimono girl. Oh my god, I'm all glitched up. Oh, I can see defeat. You're mer remarkably strong. I should give you the rainbow badge. And you receive the rainbow badge and hopefully not be glitched up. Just something that happens sometimes in the game. To have a TM-19 special token. It is Giga Drain. It's not that wonderful of a move. 
Mm, it's a horrible move. It has only 60 base power and for restores half of the HP you're doing to the opponent. And now we're back to normal. And uh, that is going to be for this episode. I'm going to cut it short. I just want to have every gym battle in one episode. So thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to leave the rating that you think this video deserves. Please leave a comment what you thought about the video or the video in general. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.